Mad Wizards. Welcome to our episode 2 of Senior Pablo Tricks and Trivia. We're now in number 9 in answering periodic tests of general mathematics. The question in number 9 is when f of x is equal to 3x over x minus 2 and g of x is equal to 5x plus 4 over x minus 1, which of the following expressions can be equated to f of x over g of x? So we're going to find f of x all over g of x. So let us solve f of x over g of x. Okay. We know that f of x is equal to 5x minus 2 over x minus 1. f of x is 5x minus 2 over x minus 1. All over, g of x is 5x plus 4 all over x minus 1. Okay. So we're going to simplify. We have a rational expression in our numerator, so copy 5x minus 2 all over x minus 1. So this is a division. So proceed in multiplication, then get the reciprocal of our denominator. The denominator is, or the reciprocal of our denominator is x minus 1 all over 5x plus 4. And now, let us use cancellation method. So we can cancel x minus 1, x minus 1. And our final answer is 5x minus 2 all over 5x plus 4. We cannot cancel 5 and 5, 2 and 4. Why? Because our numerator and denominator are single expressions. This is a binomial in a binomial. We cannot cancel. Cancel 5, cancel 5, cancel x, cancel x. We cannot do that. That is a wrong process or wrong way in solving in mathematics. Okay? So, our number 11 is letter B. And now we are in number 10. The question in number 10 is, what values of x will make f of x is equal to g of x? Where f of x is equal to x squared and g of x is equal to x plus 6. So we're going to find f of x is equal to g of x. Our first step, we need to substitute the given functions. For f of x, our value is x squared. So change f of x to x squared. And our g of x is x plus 6. Just substitute. And now, since this is raised to 2, we know that this is a quadratic function. So let us equate to 0. Oh, this, is, this will make a quadratic function, a quadratic equation. Okay. Equate to 0, so x will become negative x. Positive 6 will become negative 6. Okay. And now, let us factor out. The factors are x, x, let us use the shortcut. Factors of negative 6, the sum must be negative 1. So that is negative 3 and positive 2. So negative 3 times positive 2, that is negative 6. Negative 3 times 2, that is a negative 3 plus 2, that is negative 1. Equate to 0, 
equating to zero, two is equal to zero. So our x is equal to transpose positive three, x is equal to negative three. So the following numbers or the following the following are the values of x that will make our functions equal. X is 3 and X of 2, negative 2. So for number 10 is letter C. Letter C. Okay? Now let's try number 11. Which of the following is an example of rational function? So oh, let us solve number 11 here. Rational function. So the answer is letter B. Why letter B? Letter A, that is a rational equation. Because that is equated to 3. Okay. Letter A is rational equation. Letter B, that is a rational function. Why? Because we have f of x on the left side. Function of x. And letter C, this is a rational inequality. And of course, letter D is also rational inequality. So, number 11 is b f of x is equal to 5 x minus 2 all over x minus 1 we're now in number 12 the question is which of the figures illustrate the graph of the equation f of x is equal to so f of x is equal to 3 times x minus 2 squared. Okay. Our exponent is 2. So we know that the graph is a curve or parabola. Let us find the vertex of our parabola. So the parabola, to find the vertex, just equate to 0. So x is equal to positive 2. And for y, since we have a value here, that is understood that this is plus 0. Plus k, that is our k. So our y is 0. Therefore, if we're going to find the coordinates, that is positive 2 and 0. And if we are going to graph in our Cartesian plane, where is positive 2? 0. So positive 2, 1, 2, then 0. And since this is a positive, our coefficient or the value of a is positive, so our graph must be like this one. Okay. So that is letter B. Again, number 12 is letter for number 13, the question is, which of the following is not a characteristic of the graph of f of x is equal to x squared plus 9? Take a look at our given. So our value of a is positive. So we know that if a is positive, that is open upward. So in number 13, the answer is letter C. It opens downward. That is not a characteristic of f of x is equal to x squared plus 9. Again, number 13 is letter C. And for number 14. 
which of the following represents the inverse of f of x is equal to 12x? So let us solve. f of x is equal to 12x. Inverse function, so our first step, change f of x to y. It's equal to 12x. Next step, interchange x and y. So our y will become x and our x will become y. And now solve for y. To solve for y, divide the equation by 12 by 12. Now we have y. y is equal to x minus 12. Or x over 12 is equal to y. Commutative property. They are equal or the same. Let us find our table of values. Okay, let us create our table of values. So we have x and y. For x, we have 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now let us substitute. If x is 1, so we have y is equal to, if x is 1, you substitute 1 over 12, that is 1 over 12. y is 1 over 12. If y is 2, uh, if x is 2, so we have 2 over 12, reduced in lowest terms, so this is 1 over 6. Divided by 2, so that is 1. 12 divided by 2, that is 6. So 1 over 6. If x is 3, so we have 3 over 12. 3 divided by 3, so that is 1 over 12 divided by 3, so 1 over 4. And if x is 4, so we have 4 over 12. So this is... 1 over 3. 1 over 3. So number 14 is letter letter B. And now for number 15 the question is find inverse of x given that f of x is equal to 5a 5x minus 8 is 1 to 1. Okay, we're going to solve f of x is equal to 5x minus 8. First step, change f of x to y. Y is equal to 5x minus 8. And now, interchange x and y. So our y will become x, and our x will become y. And now, solve for y. To solve y, transpose 8, this will become x plus 8 is equal to 5y. The negative 8, if you're going to move on our left side, it will become positive A. So, x plus 8 is equal to 5y. Just copy. To find y, we need to divide by 5. Now we have x plus 8 over 5 is equal to y. To write our inverse, that is f raised to negative 1 of x is equal to x plus 8 all over 5. This is now our inverse. For number 15, that is letter B. B again. So that's it. So that is our episode 2. Once again, thank you for watching Senior Pablo Tricks and Trivia. 
share this video to your friends, to your classmates. So it might help them in answering their modules. Don't forget to subscribe.